Okay then, boys. So that was the UK Premier of Hail to the Deadites. How are you feeling? Um, pretty excited. Pretty excited to be screened at the at Fright Fest. Uh, it's it's so sad that I, like, we're not all together right now, like in the room, but uh, but really really happy to uh, to get the, the movie uh, to you uh, at uh, at your festival. Fright Fest is probably one of the biggest festivals I wanted to be at and. This is quite an honor to be there, and thank you very much for uh, for doing that. Uh, you're obviously a huge fan. Is this something you've been thinking of doing for a while? Actually, um, it, it kind of came after I finished my first documentary, Under the Scares. Uh, I did Under the Scares back in 2010, and then when I uh, when I finished the, the movie, maybe like not over a year after, uh, my goal was to do a sequel to it. So, like, Under the Scares was based on uh, how, um, on what to do and what not to do when you're doing an indie horror film. And then, like, the, the, the sequel was uh, about uh, uh, how the technology kind of changed the business. Because we started Under the Scares in 2006, like, in standard def, and we finished it, like, four years after, like, in HD. So the technology really kind of switch and then when we finished the movie it was kind of the start of the downfall of you know dvds video clubs start to close and everything so i was like oh how can we like i, I think we can do a sequel about this like to talk about how the technology changed the business it's an interesting story how how you you became involved martin is that correct that's a funny story because uh at that time i was welcoming my daughter uh, because I adopted her and uh, Steve called me like I, I'm not sure if it was the same day or just a few days after uh, she was uh, she wasn't my own but I had to make a decision so my wife told me you got to do it don't don't mind me about uh, your daughter I'm going to take care of her and this is like your chance uh, to get into the business and do something that uh, might you might enjoy very much so uh, it's all because of my wife it's also because of steve because uh, if it wouldn't be uh, of him I, I i wouldn't be in the project so i said yes and i decided to go ahead and uh, help him and that's probably one of the best decisions i made in my life because it changed entirely my life. I met so many people and made so many friends. And again, I, I said it like a thousand times. Thank you, Steve, for doing that because this is something. The whole thing fascinated me because it's a, it's a real insight into fandom. Uh, okay, it's about the evil dead, but you could apply a lot of it to people who are into a lot of things. Uh, how do you actually go about getting all these famous talking heads in your film when you don't know them? Do you just approach them? I was lucky first to that I did like my first documentary because, you know, in Hunter the Scares, George Romero was in it, Lloyd Kaufman, Urshel Gordon Lewis, uh, Robert Kurtzman. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I had the experience to approach people to do such a documentary. And I knew Tom because um, when we did Under the Scares, we did an interview with him also, but he didn't make the cut because it was like mainly focused on Evil Dead and it wasn't really like the, the goal of the documentary. So so I kind of contacted him again and was like, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm on it. So it kind of started with Tom and then I was lucky because uh, I was uh, the... Um, I was running the horror section of the Montreal, Ottawa, and Quebec Comic Con. So I, I had contact with uh, a bunch of agents, and I, and, and I had the ladies of Evil Dead coming to Montreal also as guests. So I knew them also. And then it was all about like contacting agent and, uh, for example, uh, Dominic, uh, which is the agent of the Evil Dead 2 uh, cast. And he was like, well, everybody's going to be a horror hound in a, like, in a couple of months. So you guys should come and do all the interview there. So this is like the steps that it took to, uh, to get everybody. At these events, um, you must meet some interesting people. Anybody stand out kind of? 
from the fandom world, not so much the the stars, somebody who's stuck in your memory. Oh my God, I, I got to answer to this. Um, <laughs> the people we met, uh, all the fans, uh, they made me jealous because <laughs> they had so many props from the movies and I was like, oh my God, I want this. I want that too. And I want this too, you know? They they had so many things. And uh, I w I'm thinking about uh, Dennis Carter, who is uh, one of the uh, participating fans. And oh, when, when we went into his house, it was full of props. And I'm not... I'm not talking about only Evil Dead. I'm talking about every damn movie, uh, Ghostbusters, you know. There was so many Muppets from the Muppet Show, and <laughs> that was incredible. I was, I was amazed by what he had, but everything that had to do with Evil Dead, I remember he, well, you, you probably saw it in the documentary, everything that he shown, it's everything I wanted to have and a lot of original props too. So that's what got me like everything yeah. that those people had was just, wow. Yeah. Funny story. Uh, Dennis, Dennis sent me a message yesterday because he saw the film for the first time and it was like, uh, Oh guys, you need to come back because I have so more many things since you filmed me. <laughs> you filmed me so. anyway. I, uh, I have a friend, uh, Chris, uh, if you're watching this, um, who just moved house. And although he won't admit to it, one of the reasons he moved house is his, his collection's outgrown the current house. <laughs> See, so, that's the kind of thing I'd like to do, you know, collect everything I can. But my God, this is expensive. So uh, are you two going to work together again? We're, we're, we're kind of best friends since, since the, the, the project started and we see each other a lot and we're, we're talking about other projects uh, that, that, that we want to do. Uh, it's all depend which one we're going to choose, but uh, for now there's two or three projects that we, we want to work with. We did a short film also together uh, three years ago. It was a, sh a short it. film, yeah, sh a short film, three minutes, uh, suspense, trailer thing called A Quiet Moment. Mm -hmm. You can find it on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, we definitely we're going to continue to work together. You've kind of answered my final question, which was going to, uh, <laughs> what's, what are you going to do next? But um, maybe something occurred to me just as we were talking, when you mentioned your short film, do you, are you going to move more? Do you have any ambitions to move into narrative films rather than documentaries? Uh, of course, of course. Uh, like I, my first experience for feature film, for example, was like back in 2003, uh, where we did a small anthology called Stories of a Grave Digger. You can look for it, but it's, it's not, it didn't get like any release except us, you know, we're going to convention and selling the movie. So, uh, and it's, it, it's an okay film. It's not really good, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I must I must say it, you know. The quality is there though, you know, the the, the, the camera camera work and the uh, the sound was really good and uh, but you know overall it's like meh. anyway and uh, <laughs> but yeah we, we do have a couple of, of things that uh, I do have like on my side a couple of uh, feature film that I would like to do like some synopsis and stuff and there's also one of uh, a film that uh, we start working together uh, with Martin we uh, I think we're up to may maybe a 50 page of, of a script or something like that but you know it's been like we didn't touch it since I guess over two or three years so uh, it's something that we're going to jump in in, an, in in the near future I guess mm -hmm. too many projects yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well um, thank you for allowing uh, us to showcase your film in the UK um, I'm sure you'll get as many good reviews from our screening as you have done from uh, Fantasia and uh, keep us in mind with your next one Will do. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Very much for having us. It was a pleasure. Again, sad that we're not in London right now with you guys, but uh, thank you very much. Yeah.